Apparently it's been a rain tomorrow. I'll tell you what, I love you, they're beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. 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 my flowers. Just 
So people play it over our like, and then drop the third person. But we can change them. Can we take them? And they were being paid off as friends, so they be shooting. Oh, yeah, I'm mad. I'm just going to work. I'm just going to work. We got a similar look at the AGB photographs at the Lions Point Front. Um, she was sat next to me when we got our dis you know, distinguished presence. And they scream as they go towards the dog. They, they scream yeah. and she, she could go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Fabulous. Shepherd without a dog? No. <laughs> no. I bet you take some brushing in. That's what I like. She takes some brushing, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. She does. She's always on top of the plant of the garden. She better spin that. Yeah, you will. You did actually keep bags of it because it was fabulous. Yeah. The pepper's left. Yeah. Oh, it's good. So I think sometimes when it's more blue, you can. Hey, Dee Dee, can I get some? Where's the dandelion? Please don't let me go. I'm a bell and I'm a bell and I'm a bell and I'm a bell and I'm a it's pointless, you know, you're wasting your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's mine, I let you borrow it. Mummy, I'm just trying to steal my flip, I let him borrow it. Every minute, I'll find her. Oh, so nice. <laughs> so you know, it was so a job for more mature <laughs> ladies. So you know, you'd be, you'd fit the category. You could come and collect the dog food. Oh, nice. Oh. What on earth would you use that for? Well, it was sold to the tanneries, and it was called. It wasn't called dog food. It was called the pure. C -U -R -E. Oh. <laughs> I'll just check if it is dog food. Oh. <laughs> it's definitely dog food. <laughs> <laughs> They'd sell it to the tanneries. Oh, oh, right. And yeah. it was used to process the leather. Wow. So it was quite an expensive commodity. It was a, you know, one that was quite yeah. common. Um, so and it was a good wage as well. We'd get up to a shilling a day for collecting. Wow. Uh, and that was, so there's plenty of it. <laughs> and there's some white poo in there. Do you remember yeah. the white poo? White no. dog poo? What's that, What's that? Did you not remember the white poo when you were a child on the work curb side? Well, if a dog is raw fed, raw meat and bones, because a dog is a scavenger, it's meant to eat scraps, it would do a poo, mm. and after a few days it would it would break down, decompose, yeah. and you would be left with the calcium deposits from the bones. Yeah. Now, this was a very, very valuable commodity, because it's pure calcium. It was used in the fur trade to clean the fur, but it was also used in the tanneries as well. Wow. And I do believe that is because... Um, it would neutralise if it was acid, because it's calcium. So a very valuable commodity, um, the white dog poo. Um, earn a good living from it.
So he's got a clean place. So, she, so she's like the cleaner of the Victorian age. So, and then out on the end there, you have a, a milkmaid. She's got the uh, big tin milk pails. Uh, they get very heavy, so you normally find them quite strong and buxom, some of these milkmaids. Um, but yeah, they're normally, although the clothes, the clothes might be a slightly dirty, but they tend to be a, a lot more cleaner than the rest of us. How did you get into the rat catching business? Then? Rat catching, well, actually, it was, passed on, it was passed on from my father. My father was very good, but uh, the trouble is he got bitten at quite a, quite a, a, a youngish age. Yeah, so after my mother gave birth to me, then he got bitten and died. And, but yeah, this is, uh, this is my business, uh, just selling the rats and... What? Catching them and then selling them to a local Who's pub. Who you to? I'm, I'm local pub, sir. Why would you sell a rat to a pub? Ah, see, right. Out of the back of the local pub. I don't know if they've got a near you, because you're looking very dapper these days. So, But down the local one there, they've got a rat pit round the back. And what they would do is they'd put 50 to 100 rats, depending on the class, and then put a dog in on the top. Ah. And what it is, is the time that the dog will actually kill the rats, or it'll run out of time. And that's what people are bet on. So, in all th fairness, sir, I'm the big screen of today. You are, aren't you? To, so I'm the one who brings the people into the actual pubs, pubs and clubs and all that. So, yes. 